We'll do the full Dynamite review later, but there was some big stuff coming out of the show tonight, including a two pull-apart brawls with CM Punk and John Moxley, which led to the announcement later on the show that next week on television, they are doing CM Punk versus John Moxley for the unified AEW title. It'll be AEW champion versus interim champion. Uh, that match is on TV next week. And we also had the return of Kenny Omega, as expected, who is the uh, third man with the Young Bucks. And they won in the main event to advance in the tournament. And a uh, very newsworthy show, and clearly some very newsworthy shows upcoming as we have three weeks left until All Out. Yeah, and they did some build-up for All Out. So I guess the main thing is, is um, if you're wondering about the CM Punk thing at the start of the show with Adam Page, um, that was weird for everyone, as in nobody knew he was going to do that. And, um, you know, I mean, if you remember months ago when they were feuding, and I said that, like, there's there's a lot of reality to it. Well, there's a lot of reality to it. So um, I don't know what the I don't know what the deal was, and nobody else does either. But you know, I mean, Punk was supposed to go out there and talk about Moxley and build the match, and he did after he talked about Adam Page, and um, you know, um, well, I should mention also since a lot of people have uh, have read. The wrong thing into that. Whatever they're going to do next week with the title match, I saw a lot of people saying, oh, you know, it's probably going to be uh, uh, Punk and Hangman at, at All Out because of Punk's promo at the beginning of the show. Right, right, right. Punk's yeah, that's promo not... at the beginning of the show had absolutely zero zilch to do with whatever they're going to do at the pay-per-view. Yes. So don't read into that. Oh, well, you know, maybe they're going to do this or that because that was not supposed to happen and Punk just went into business for himself and then moved on, which yeah. was bullshit, actually, because, you know, he called the guy out and it was it was off script. And so, of course, Hangman's not going to come out. And so then Punk calls him a coward. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? I know. That was weird. Um, but... Uh... Yeah, I mean, they're you know they may build something from it down the line. I mean, that wouldn't be, but that's not it's it's not scheduled for this pay per view, and nobody knew he was going to do it. And I guess he this was if you if you know this was his first promo in months. I mean, since since he got hurt, and I guess he'd been saving it up and wanting to say this thing. For whatever reason, you know, that uh, I think he felt that whatever it was when him and Adam Page were going back and forth during their promo battles before their for their pay-per-view match, um, you know, in, in Vegas, that I guess he was mad at something Page said, which was interesting because when him and Moxley were going back and forth, I mean, it really did have to me. You know, I mean, it, and it was supposed to like that, like that stuff back and forth, like they were shooting, but they're not shooting. It was, it was a lot of Bret Hart, Shawn Michaels, 1997, watching it. But it was all, you know, to, you know, I mean, it was all to build up a match. I mean, it wasn't like they were they were not going off script, you know, whatever. I don't, I don't you know, I mean, whatever. What's the word I'm looking for? I mean, it's not their promos are not exactly scripted anyway. They're just kind of, you know, like go on there and sell the pay-per-view. So they went in a very unique direction, you know, both going after each other to sell the pay-per-view. But it was not, there was nothing like unprofessional about that. But the thing with Adam Page was was something very different and kind of made no sense. And I was going like, what the hell was that? Um, so anyway, that's the story there. Omega, so in that match, I know a lot of people were asking if Omega's okay and if Dragon Lee's okay. And as far as I know... Well, I mean, I know that Omega's okay, and I'm pretty sure Dragon Lee's okay as well. And a lot of that was just um, was was just selling, you know. A lot was just selling. So, um, you know, I mean, they're they're very good at what they do. So um, that that crazy tope, they were okay from that crazy tope. 
So, um, and then the well, the toe pain, and the one that everybody was worried about was the uh, V trigger. The V trigger just went limp, right? But apparently, that was uh, a great job selling as well. By Johnny and Lee, uh, yeah. yeah, if you if you watch the end of the show, they were rushed for time because they, they, they were just they, rushing through that post match angle where they turned on Dragon Lee and he ended up getting unmasked after the hammerlock DDT by Andrade. So I, so, I, I presume so, so, we'll we'll have so, a better follow up next week, but that was yeah. that was very much rushed. Yeah, so much, so much so that, that I don't think that people got the impact of the unmasking and everything because it happened so quick. And it was just like they rushed off the air. They went home like, um, I don't know what the deal was, but, um, I guess they, the way they got the signal, like the finish of the match, they were told go right to the finish. And I guess that, that they, the original planning was to go longer. And, um, you know, so it was like everything in the last two minutes of the show was very rushed to fill, to fill in what was supposed to happen. Yeah. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work. Working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.